Tara explains the key design elements of a Media Inc magazine article. The heading is what the story's going to be about. It leads you to the story. The subhead, it's just a bit of a snippet. You quickly read it and decide whether you're interested in it. And then the body of the text is the story. Carmony, the editor, generates many of the articles for the Media Inc magazines. When it comes to writing an article, I always include a title, a subheading and the body of the article in a Word document which is then saved and forwarded on to my graphic designer, together with instructions on what images to use, along with credits of images, which is very important in, this, um, in the publishing industry. And she will lay it out and sometimes it's too many words, so what she'll do is she'll print it out as it is and then make a note of how many lines need to be cut. And when I get that back, I will then re-edit the article and delete lines or words accordingly until everything fits on the page correctly. The programs used to generate text for a magazine differ from the design programs. I will use Microsoft Word to type out the article that's saved and then forwarded on to the graphic designer, which is then printed and passed back to me, which I have a hard copy to work on, and that's how we work from there, just on a hard copy. Tara talks about the design elements for text. I have one font that I use for, for Wedding Magazine, and I stick with that font the whole way through the magazine and just use variants of it. Well, the font's called Avenir. The heading is heavy. Um, the subhead is in uppercase, and then the, the body is um, Avenir Light and I use 8 point for all, all the body text for all the articles. I tend not to go any smaller than 8 point because you can't read it. As well as editing the text, Carmony sets the style for the images in the magazine. When it comes to photo shoots, which is where most of our images are produced, um, the beginning stage is where I'll come up with a concept together with a photographer and we'll, li we'll liaise over email about the concept and the idea that we want to sort of achieve. Come up with what props to use as well as lighting, because that's very important, whether we want a moody, dramatic effect or something bright and light. And then from there, I tend to get images that I might come across in a magazine or online of something that I like and would like to sort of replicate. And what I do is, when we get to the studio, everything's printed out, so we've got um, reference shots to work off and together with the photographer then sets up all his lights and, and we start shooting and, and after all the test shots are done and we sort of agree on, on the test shots looking the way we want them to, the photo shoots um, on its way. 